Hi guys. We're going to film a really quick video doing some foiling with the Deco Foil Duo Gel. We have Stamp Wars coming on tonight, so I need to make this pretty quick, but I wanted to show to you guys. So the other night, if you guys watched Stacy's video or, or Ryan's videos, we did some foiling with some Deco Foil Gel, um, toner foiling and so on. But I wanted to just remind you guys that um, if you're just starting in foiling and you um, don't want to take a huge dive into it, um, you can buy smaller packs of foil and they're a little bit less expensive than jumping into the H&H &H foils. H&H &H foils are amazing, but I know oftentimes they sell out pretty quickly. So I wanted to give you guys some alternatives. So I did pre-make some of these panels yesterday using Transfer Gel Duo. And Duo is the only one you can use with heat and without heat. So I have some panels done. I did these last night and we are going to foil some of these with heat and some of them without heat. You can see my mini mink is on three. So we will get to that in just a second. Um, I wanted to show you guys the stencils that I used and you can pick up all of these items from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So let me show you all of the things the Not Too Shabby Shop has in stock right now. So obviously the Transfer Gel Duo. Duo you can use with or without heat for your foiling. And you're going to be using that primarily through stencils. But I am going to show you one other way to use it. Let's talk about something else. If you're going to be using stencils, I don't recommend using the Pixie Spray with foiling. However, I always do recommend having Pixie Spray on hand if you are going to be doing anything with stencils. So if you're going to be ink blending your stencils, um, you do want to have some Pixie Spray handy. So pick up a bottle of that while you are at the Not Too Shabby Shop. By the way, I'm going to link a discount code for you. Okay, let's talk about foils. What kind of foils do they have? Well, I'm just going to tell you some of them. These are all the foils they currently have in stock. This is Thermoweb's Summer Rainbow. And this is a very beautiful pink, red, yellow striped foil. It's gorgeous. In fact, I think I will cut a little piece of that. You do have to be careful because these foil sheets are a little thinner and they do tend to get some static cling and want to kind of stick to each other. So oftentimes when you cut what you think is one sheet, it's sometimes two. So just be very careful of that. And again, foil is very delicate. So you want to keep these in these little jars. You want to keep them away from dust. And you want to keep the lid on there. Okay. We talked about tie-dye foils. So you have tie-dye blue here. It's called Lapis Watercolor. I'll show you that. Very pretty. Put a little piece of that off. Now these are toner reactive foils or mink foils. These are not hot foils, okay? So these are designed to be used with your mink or your laminator. How about this one? This one is called amethyst watercolor. So it's like purple tie-dye, very pretty. in there and they come in these tubes and you get five pieces in a tube this one is a brand new one I can't even get it open oops all right so this one is called peach princess and it is a holographic peach gorgeous very very pretty And again, you get five long sheets like this. And like I said, sometimes there is static cling and they tend to want to stick together. So you got to be careful when you're cutting. There you can see the static cling. You got to be careful when you're cutting them that you're only cutting what you need. But that's a very holographic Peach color would be very nice if you are doing any kind of Halloween cards. Halloween um, pumpkins. You have a pumpkin stencil. I know Tim Holtz has a pumpkin stencil. And I didn't roll that up tight enough. And again, before you do any foiling, make sure you wipe down your area that you are keeping it free of dust and pets and... Um, 
debris, glitter, embossing powders, all of those things. You want to keep those away. We have pink, which is rose. Um, and it is a pink holographic. I can't open that, but you can see there it is a pink holographic. And then we have some beautiful rainbows. Oh, we have the bronze uh, tie-dye, which is called amber watercolor. So you can see that's a bronzy color. And then we have some rainbow ones. This one is rainbow shattered glass. And H&H &H does not carry this one yet, but it is beautiful. We will cut a piece of that. Look at all of that gorgeousness. Now remember, you're going to get a discount code to the Not Too Shabby Shop by using my affiliate link, and I will post the code down below for you guys. And also, I believe she has free shipping with a $45 order. So you would get free shipping, and she ships very quickly. Okay, so we have all of those foils, and then here is a plain rainbow one. This is just regular beautiful rainbow foil and again you want to be careful look at that there was two sheets stuck together and make sure that you do you don't mar or scratch your foil they're very delicate uh, I may not even be cutting these panels large enough we'll find out here shortly and like I said, I'm going to do some of these with heat through the mink machine, and some of them I'm going to do just through my die cutting system. Okay? And that's not all the foils we have. We have some more foils here. We have the Gina K Radiant Red, which is red, shining stars, a sparkle in there. These come in sheets, and you get 12 sheets that are um, already pre-cut. They are six by eight inches, so you can use them for card fronts. So she has the radiant red, which is the red with the stars in it. She also has the sparkling silver, which is the silver with the stars in it. She has this new rain glow, which is the rainbow with the stars in it. And the stencils that I have used today are the Picket Fence um, Knots and Scales, I'm gonna show you that. Picket Fence Stars, and also the Lawn Fawn Snowy Sky. So those are the stencils that we're gonna use. And I brought in one more media piece. These are Faber-Castell Faber -Castell Mixed Media Stencils, and they are made out of cardboard. They are laser cut. They're pretty thin, but um, you can also ink blend through these or stencil through these, and we're going to use one of those. So let's get into what you guys can make here. All right, so we're going to do the hot ones, and then I'll show you guys how to do the ones without heat, just doing pressure. So these are the snow stencils, and I got to say... I did mess up one of them um, because the bottom of the stencil, here it is, the bottom of the stencil, um, the stencil paste came through and the stencil lifted. So you can see my spots are bigger there, but you know what? I was like, you know, that doesn't look like rain anymore, snow anymore. To me, it looks like confetti. So I was thinking, well, I could make this into a fun birthday card. So we're going to use this rainbow deco foil. And we're going to always dusty, dusty. So you want to take a soft, like, makeup brush and dust the back of your whew, stencil and, I mean, foil and dust your project. You can see that that duo paste wants to stick to everything. And then we're going to run that over it. And, of course, you can put pressure on that and run it through your die cutting machine. I'm going to do this one with heat. And then this one, I'm going to take this shattered rainbow. And that one I'm going to sandwich through my Gemini Junior. So how I would do that is just like if you were doing normal die cutting. I'm going to grab my cutting plate, put my paper on there, put my magnetic shim on, my milky shim, and then my top plate and I'm going to run all of this through my Gemini Junior. Okay, 
And then I'm going to make sure that the one that came out of the mink is cooling down. We're going to put that one there. Let's grab another one. How about this one with the stars? Let's do that one in... We'll do some of this peach. Same premise, put the paper down, the foil, put it through my sandwich to go through the die cutting machine. This one, I have a little border of stars. I have a little sliver of foil here. Can I make it work? Not exactly. There's a little piece missing. That's okay. We will use this lapis watercolor one. Oh, you know what? I should dusty, dusty. I mean, you really don't have to dusty, dusty with these because it's sticking to the paste, but it's just a habit to do that. Run that through the heat. Now here I have one that I ran through the stencil, and this is the stencil that I used. So on this one, I'm going to run this one through my die cutting machine using that beautiful foil, sunset foil. Some of this sparkling silver. There's already a piece cut in here. We're going to run that through on this one, which kind of looks like snow. Put that through. I think that one will do through the heat system. Some of that princess pink, which is holographic. I to cut a piece of that. And again, you can pick up all of these foils. They are all currently in stock at the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will link the link down below. Everything that I'm showing, the stencils, the foil, the Deco Foil Duo Gel, it is all in stock at the Not Too Shabby Shop. Okay, so this pink one, this is the Knots stencil. So we're gonna do this piece of pink. I barely cut my foil big enough for that. And we're gonna do that one through pressure. So no heat, just pressure. Put that in my die cutting system. Have one more and then we will do the reveal so this is that stencil I showed you earlier and on that one I brushed on the do, do, the deco foil duo gel I brushed it on so I don't know if you guys can see there is this just kind of paste all over this and we're gonna try to foil this and see what we get may not be big enough but I should be able to cut that down and again because it's thin it kind of 
sticks together. Look, I put pulled four sheets out at once. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we'll cut down the edges. Let's try to center that on there. And again, going to go through and run this one through my Gemini Junior die cutting system. And all we're doing is just making the sandwich like I'm doing a die cut, but we're not die cutting anything. We're just adding pressure and see how that sticks to that cardboard stencil. Oh, it doesn't fit because the stencil is too big. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to do a little trimming here. All right, so now it's time to reveal. Again, you don't need heat to do this foiling. If you have heat, it doesn't hurt. This paste is very sticky. As you can see, it does want to stick to everything. Uh, it's sticking a little too much here. Okay, we got it. Now I have glue on my cutting plate. Okay, I will have to deal with that later. So let's reveal the ones that use the heat. So these I ran through my mink machine again on setting three using the same paste, the same foil. The only difference was I used the heat and pressure from the mink machine. And this is that one I said where you can see the foil kind of got, um, the paste got squished underneath the stencil. So using that rainbow foil really does make it a fun pretty kind of confetti looking background. So it's not perfect the way I wanted it to be, but it's still fun and would make a cute little birthday background. Okay. This one is the lapis watercolor, which is basically blue watercolor or tie dye on the stars stencil. The stars stencil is from Picket Fence Studios, also in the not too shabby shop. And you can pull that off and see how we have some dimension with that paste and the foil stuck right to it. Very nice. Here we have that snowflake stencil again. This time we use the Gina K Silver Stars. Now that is really cool snow. It's very holographic looking. Okay. And then we're going to go on to the ones that we didn't use heat. We just used pressure from our die cutting machine. So this is that sunset one. Very pretty. And this was the Mandela or Mandela um, stencil from Fiber Castell that I just put the paste through. Very pretty. Definitely gives you that kind of mixed media vibe. Very nice. Okay. Here's another one of the stars with the peach princess. Okay. And so here you can see this, the paste was either too thick and it kind of seeped under my stencil or it wasn't dry all enough and the, all the way. And the pressure pushes some of that st um, paste out. But overall, I think it still looks very pretty, very holographic. I love the dimension you get from using the paste. And like I said, you can stretch your stencils that way. Here is the rainbow shatters. Again, on that snowflake, very fun. All that gorgeousness. Very holographic looking. Very pretty. And then once the foil is over that glue, it's not tacky anymore. You don't have any of those tacky spots like you do prior to foiling. Oh, this is that Knots stencil with the pink holographic. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that design. And it really has a lot of dimension to it. It's so smooth seeing all of that paste. And you can see that the ones that went through the die cutting machine look just as good as the ones that went through the mink. All right, this one I'm interested to see how this one foiled, if it foiled at all. Let me see here. And this, I just took the Deco Foil Duo Gel and brushed it on. After I was done stenciling with it, I brushed it on 
Wow, you guys, look at that. That's very pretty. And now I can double foil this on a piece of toner sheet. That is really cool. I really like that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So again, you can pick up all of these supplies except for this stencil, but all of these foils and all of these stencils are at the Not Too Shabby Shop, as well as many other foiling colors and many other stencils. These are just the ones that I had on hand. Don't forget to pick up the Transfer Gel Duo if you wanna try this out, the stencils and the foils. And if you're gonna get stencils, don't forget to get yourself some Pixie Spray. Believe me, it's a lifesaver later on. Check out the link below down for um, Not Too Shabby Shop and the discount code for you. Remember, if you spend $45, you do get free shipping. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye, guys.